Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome to Shanda on Demand. This is the last episode of today, or the last episode of this month, and I will be back uh, after my flex week next month. The only reason why I bring that up is because we get all these messages uh, online where people are like, where's Shanda on Demand? And although I love that, I also can tell you that consistency in how you show up matters. So if you're building email lists or you're doing reels online, whenever you go dark, it uh, when people don't see you, it actually uh, breaks some trust. So that's no pressure to have to put all this pressure on yourself to show up, but it is important to create a calendar that you have it scheduled, right? Somebody put schedule, right? Somebody put schedule in the comment section because that word needs to stick out. So I need somebody to put schedule in the comment section because I say it and people forget about it, okay? And so, uh, some of you guys may or may not know this, but we are doing uh, priority focus inside of our company because I have a real desire to see my hardcore business team that works inside of hardcore. We haven't gotten to everybody in the company yet. So somebody in hardcore is watching going, how come I'm not on this? It's because we've gone through customer service. We have gone in counting and now we're adding the sales team uh, after flex week. Um, and I meet with them twice a day for for just about 10, 10, 12, 15 minutes tops, right? So, uh, so it is another thing on my calendar, but it's another thing with high value because it's connected with humans. And what do we do is we, we declare, we declare, how many of you guys declared today how much money you were gonna make? Be honest. Don't, don't be like, I know what I wanna make. Like, let's be honest, yes or no? No, kind of, yes or no. Did you declare this morning when you woke up how much money you were gonna make this morning? Just put yes or no in the comment section, okay? I'm declaring now. Awesome declaring now, but it's really important to see this. This is not a looking good conversation. In fact, um, pretending like you did when you didn't, like you gotta ask yourself, like what's more important, being honest or looking good, right? Because looking good will destroy your life. It will absolutely destroy your life. Okay, so yes or no, did you get up this morning or yesterday and declare an income goal today? And so a lot of people have said no, and there's a few people who have said yes. So now first, you may not have an income goal, right? So that's first and foremost, you might not have an income goal, right? So is there something wrong with what you did? No, do you know what I mean? But the question is, is if you want to increase your finances, then it needs to be tracked. It needs to be tracked. Okay, if I want to, I don't just declare into the ethers of the universe and go, I wanna be a better mom. No, no, I put date time on the calendar. So if it doesn't get scheduled, then I'm telling you, you're not committed to it yet. It's a blind spot that a lot of people have. So as we're doing priority focus time with our team, um, Keith, who's here, who I love, Keith is crushing his priority focus time, right, Keith? Yes, Keith, pop up here with me right now because I, I think it's powerful. Pot, spotlight yourself with me. Okay, so my dog is um, is having a dream in the other room, and I could hear her crying. Um, so, Keith, really quick, what have you realized about yourself in priority focus time inside the company? Just a, so when I focus on like one task and I just put everything into it, um, I actually get more done. I, it's not like, oh, I'll do this and then start something else and then go back to it and forget where I'm at. But it's also allows me to track it and complete it fully in a quicker time than I would if I wasn't on um, priority focus time. Absolutely. And what has that done for your character or your person or what, what has it done for you personally? Oh, huge. It, it gives confidence. Um, it boosts your leadership, um, being able to, you know, manage your day better. Uh, you actually get time back when you focus on something <laughs> like that. Um, yeah. So it's been huge. It's wild. So so thank you for sharing. So so can I share? Do you mind if I share what you said before everybody jumped on? If you don't want me to, I won't. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, so Keith has just been elevated to a new role inside the company and he said, he said, you know, I had a little bit and you guys tell me if this is you anywhere in your life right now he goes, I had a little bit of like an identity crisis with it and he was like I, I was a little insecure about going to that next level and and can I do it 
right? And so how many of you guys feel that way? Don't leave Keith out there by yourself, say me, right? Don't leave Keith out there by, like it is important that we support each other because the, the enemy loves to lie to us in our head and we believe it a lot of times. And then what happens is we hold back. So, so Keith is crushing it. And, and I firmly believe the reason why you shared that with me today is because you're doing priority focus time. And so now that you're doing priority focus time, you're winning. I mean, you were winning before, but you're really winning, right? And so instead of having to book overtime, you're getting the most important thing done. So as you slide into the weekend, you feel like an accomplished man, right? And, and that's huge for your kindness. It's huge for not falling off your commitments. It's huge for who you become to other people, because when you feel great about who you are, guess who you are to everybody else? A champion. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate you jumping on. So, so you guys get it, right? So what Keith realized, he's going on priority focus time later today, and, and it was easy to fall back into. He's like, I'm going to help Naomi do this. That's not priority focus time. Okay, priority focus time is I'm committing to this result. It's, it's completion energy. It's like, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish two chapters in my book or I'm going to, and then if you don't finish, you don't end the day without finishing, right? I'm going to enroll one person, right? Okay. So you didn't enroll. What do you do? Well, you should have your priority focus time early enough in the day that you can look at the rest of your day and course correct. So it's, it's a, it's a, it's a lesson in leadership on always hitting your numbers, right? Always hitting your commitments. One of our team members realized, wow, Shanda, like as I'm, hit, as I'm setting these big goals, he's like, so do you guys remember the division that I set a goal that they would, that they would generate $7,000 a day? Do any of you guys remember this? Okay, so it was only the beginning of last week. Okay, so it was only the beginning of last week. And so day one, they crushed it. The day two, they fell off. Day three, they fell off. And, and a senior leader came in and shored them up in 30 minutes. So what, what does that tell you? What, how she looked at it was different. How she looked at the task was different than how the other team looked at the task. Do you guys see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say to you right now is there is a way that you're looking. It's perception. What I love about money, that's not loving money, my Christians, what I love about money is my viewpoint. My perception changes, right? Like my perception changes. Like uh, staying in, and I'm at the risk of you judging me, but I really don't like staying in low-grade hotels. I am. I. I don't know why I'm such a germaphobic. I put towels on the bed. Towels. I'm. Not, I can't be the only one out there. Towels go on the pillow. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm sleeping on top of all the pillows, uh, on top of the towels, like as if the towels are not got something on it. But you know what I mean? Like, it. I wear my flip flops, right? So I wear my flip flops in the shower. But when I stay at the Ritz Carlton, and you're, I know some people are going to judge me on this, but maybe you could just challenge yourself to think a little bigger. Right. When I go there, it's Carlton and it's it's two thousand twenty five hundred. Sometimes it's four thousand dollars a night. Right. And I stay at the Ritz Carlton. I never really know what the room rate is. I just go. What I know is how I feel in there as a mom. What I know is how my husband and I connect. What I know is how inspired I get in giving more to you. What I know is my character. There's space. OK, there's just space. Okay, it took me three years to become a millionaire and I've seen it happen many times. That's not an income claim. I can't give income claims. But whether you're in network marketing and you don't have a coaching program for 12,000, 15,000, 20,000 that you could sell. Yeah, but you're running a sales team. You could you could do something else. Right, like to generate the cash faster. Right, whether you're a real estate person, you're like, I got to work the weekends. Do you know I never worked weekends as a real estate agent? Never. Did over $100 million in sales in my first two years in real estate. My first two years in real estate. Okay, so I, I, I don't want to sound like a boastful person. What I want to sound like is there's a way I look at things that works. And what I've realized is that if you will trust me, how many of you guys have heard about priority focus before? Put a P in the comment section, put a P. 
Okay, so you've heard about it. And I will almost guarantee you, most of you don't have it scheduled in your calendar. And yes, I'm calling you out because I want to see you get your time back, right? I wanna see you like 86 the enemy in your head that is trying to tell you that you're overwhelmed and frustrated. No, you are, you are incapable because you're multitasking. And incapable produces incompetency. Do you get what I'm saying? Like incapable people produce incompetent results. And before that, they are multitasking. Before that, they are multitasking. How many of you guys just had Naha put me, right? You multitask and some of the things you've said to yourself about yourself inside your head had everything to do with the multitasking because somehow you started to believe that if you could handle more, that you would get more, receive more, create more, help more people, whatever that looks like, and it isn't. So if you multitask, you 100% will let yourself down and you can blame everybody in your life for it. They come in, my kid runs in, my, my spouse does this, the economy does this. Are you kidding me? You need to flip to the table that says, the economy's going down, that's how I can help people. I'm gonna crush it financially. The economy's going up, interest rates, there's the opportunity right there. I'm gonna do this, right? I'm gonna help so many people in this, and I'm gonna crush it right there. Um, I just got a divorce. What's the opportunity? Okay, I'm splitting half my resources. It is what it is. So what's the opportunity? Boom, right? It's like, you gotta sit at the table that doesn't get stuck. And the table that doesn't get stuck, literally, and you've heard it a million times, I guarantee you, in different ways, right? Four hour work week, right? It's, it's not a four hour work week. What it is, is it's a priority focus time on the one thing that means the most. Once you get that one thing crushing it, you could start to add other things to the funnel, add other things to your life, right? So what did I add? I added a chef. And then my worthiness conversation was screaming because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm spending like $4,000 a month on a chef, right? And I was like, I feel like I should, I, that's when Zach was first born, right? And I was like, I feel like I should be spending that money on something else. Like it just, I undervalued eating healthy. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and so got rid of the chef, then I didn't eat and my hormones got crazy, right? So then I brought back another chef and then I had the same value conversation. Then I went to care.com and I hired a house manager that could cook. And then I went back to care.com and at the time, there was one time in my life that I ate all medical medium style and, and my husband wanted to eat meat and I didn't. And so I ate medical medium, which he loves, but we just added meat to his. Do, do you get what I'm saying? So I went on care.com and I wrote an ad, a really imperfect ad and said, if you understand medical medium food, apply to this role as our house manager who cooks for us. And then that person in California, when we lived in California, became just my chef. And I paid her about $200 a week. Okay, grocery shopping was done. My food was made for me and I ate amazingly. You get what I'm saying? So that's $800 a month versus 4,000. I solved the problem. The problem was me and valuing spending money on me. You get what I'm saying? Wild, I'll go spend $2,000 a night on a hotel, but I won't spend $2,000 or $4,000 a month on a chef. Isn't that wild? I don't know why, but you have to solve the problem. And the problem is always coming down to a worthiness situation. Okay, you get what I'm saying? When you get you matter so much, you command that you need to have a stadium of people to speak to. You command that you have a, a marriage that's working, right? You don't command the, the spouse or the girlfriend, the boyfriend to align with you. You shift the way you operate so that you can land your communication. You're a people pleaser and do everything, which one of our team members realized about herself, him, himself in priority focus time. I'm like, do you know how much more people are gonna trust you that you're not a people pleaser anymore? Because you're not gonna drop balls. Do you get what I'm saying? Like people pleasers drop balls all the time and they blame everybody else that they're the people pleaser. I have to hold my boundaries. No, no, you need to hold your word. You need to hold your word. You, 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 need, to, you need to be able to communicate with somebody and say, you know what? I'm sorry, I can't fill your bottle of water right now because I'm going to, I'm going to go for a run 
instead of miss your run. But what I can do when I get back is I can fill it for you. Does that work for you? No. Okay. Well, do it yourself then. You know what I mean? Or it's like, yes, awesome. I will handle that for you when I get back from my run. You, you, got, you guys get what I'm saying? Like you start to look in priority focus time and you start to look, what is the character? Somebody, somebody write down character. What is the character in me that needs to shift to be able to do priority focus time? So I want to give you an update. The team that has a standard of $7,000 a day, Monday through Friday, which does $140,000 in that department, which I know if I can count on them, right? I can count on them if they do priority focus time. But if they don't schedule it every day and they start to not meet, you, got, you guys get what I'm saying? If they stop doing a 10 minute at the beginning of priority focus time, 10 minute after, it's going to shit in a handbasket. It'll only be a matter of weeks before they'll fall apart. Why do I know that? I'm not being pessimistic. I see it over and over and over again. Okay. And so I'm going to challenge you today to put priority focus time in your calendar one hour or two hours every day, Monday through Friday until the end of the year. You guys come into zone event. You'll be lit up like a candy cane by the time you get there. You will be you will be a success story in your own eyes, right? So who's willing to do it? You put it in the calendar, put it in the calendar today, and it's going to be in the calendar until the end of the year. You get what I'm saying? End of the year. Got it? So it's on a reoccurring appointment, Monday through Friday. Okay, done. Awesome. Then the next super move, and you don't have to be perfect at this. Okay, is it is a non-negotiable. Okay, so so if I call you and say, you know, um, Jess, hey, I can talk to you at 9 a.m. and it's your priority focus time, you don't tell me you're on priority focus time. What you say to me is you say, Shanda, I'm already committed at that time. Can we do this time? Okay, like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The meetings go in different places. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? The coffee with the only time I can see you coffee becomes a Zoom meeting. I'll do Zoom, I'll do a Zoom coffee with you when you get back to your state, right? Like you, you have to do this because the integrity of doing this will ball you up, right? We need your company to, to crush it because I don't know the doors that are gonna open in your life because you've built what you're building right now, but I know they're great. I know they're great. I know they're bigger than you could ever imagine. But if you keep trying to just make ends meet or just grow something small, then what happens is you're missing this, this leverage game of helping so many people with what you do. I have a friend right now that will not invest in a company unless they hit 3 million. He doesn't care how good the company is, how great the entrepreneur is. He won't invest in it till it hits 3 million. Why? Here's what, do you know what he said to me? He said, because they've gone through enough hard moments to get to 3 million, I know they won't quit. Everybody under 3 million that makes up every justification why they quit, they're emotional. They're emotional. Emotions will have you quit. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? They will have you quit. And then you, if you're strong, will back up the justification of it. That is something that I made a rule with myself and I don't quit anything, okay? If I'm reading a book that I don't like, I finish the book. If I have, I had a video sales letter that took me 10 months, actually really longer than 10 months, but 10 months before it really was working well, I spent so much money on that thing, you guys. I spent so much money on that thing. I mean, I was just like, gosh, it'd be so easy. It'd be so much easier if I just stopped that. Do you know what I mean? Because it was just profits going down the to down, go, going down the tube. But I was like, no, 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 your rule, Shanda, <laughs> you can stop it when it works. If you don't, I was like, that'd just be my luck. It starts to work, and then for whatever reason, we don't need it, right? It's like cancel that. No, no, no. Let's just stand on the fact that we're gonna get that working. And so now that video sales that are you guys playing BAF? If you weren't on the BAF meeting that we did earlier today. We said to those people playing bring a friend contest, it's bafcontest.com, right? There's a bunch of people playing with us for four weeks starting on Monday, and they're, they've got discounted seats to zone event on a link, right? And we've got all these prizes for them. Long story short, we said to them, first place prizes, we will build a funnel with you and we'll stay with you until the funnel works. In my case, it took 10 months. Now that funnel is producing 400%. 
It's called cash ROAS, which means if I put a dollar in, I'm getting $4 back. Okay, so now that's exciting, right? Now you can go pull a line of equity from your house because that thing's working, which means get more traffic into it, right? So you can help more people because you're producing a 4X profit, right? Do you guys see what I'm saying? That's a no brainer. See, people who are winning, they figure out the formula and then they compile onto it. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Get it? And so I can honestly tell you that my life would be so stressful if I didn't have priority focus time. It would be so stressful. I run two companies. I have a little boy. I've done five rounds of IVF. We live in Puerto Rico. We go back and forth to California. Um, you know, that's not as glamorous as it looks at all. Do you know what I mean? It's not as glamorous as it looks, right? It's like, it takes a, it takes a very low emotion to not feel like it's changing your routine, right? So it's not hard now and I quite enjoy it now, but it, it's not an easy transition. Everybody's like, I want to live by coastal. It's like, I hope you're not a hot mess in your emotions because you got to move all your stuff out of your closets. You got, you get what I'm saying? Like there's a lot that goes into it, right? You got to buy clothes for both properties. You got to have, for us, we have to have staff in both properties. Why would you do that, Jenna? Because in the Caribbean, it will be moldy by the time we get back. And there'll be mold everywhere if we don't have somebody taking care of it. Do, do you guys hear what I'm saying? Yes, right? And so I don't know what you want to create, but I can tell you it's more than possible if you'll put priority focus time in. It must be scheduled. So here's uh, the team that's doing $7,000 uh, a day. Um, they are cracking 18, 23, 15,000 a day. A day. Okay, let's just, let's just do the math. Right? Kamari and Rachel. Let's just do the math. If they did, if they do twelve thousand dollars on average a day with the work day, they'll do two hundred my phone's filthy, two hundred and forty thousand dollars in a month. How many of you guys would like to have two hundred and forty thousand dollars in a month? I'm telling you, there is low hanging fruit in some of the areas of your life that you have no idea. And when you, I, I highly recommend you go, you go look at your credit card and look at, for me, I look at Minecraft for my son or Zuba and make sure I cancel some of those upgrades, right? But you don't win the game. There's a parable in the Bible, in scripture. You don't win the game by pulling back and hoarding. You win the game by making more. And so one of the things I'm gonna put in your priority focus time is for you to sit with a wall size post-it on the wall or a piece of paper. And I want you to walk around. I want you to walk around. Where is, where is the low hanging fruit financially? Where's the low hanging fruit in my life financially? Where's their money sitting that I, am, that I am not connected to, right? Like how can I create, how can I create like a $7,000 day, right? I got two people doing seven. So why don't you say, why don't you raise your standard? Why don't you say, I'm gonna have a thousand dollar day Monday through Friday, which is $5,000 a, a, a week. Why just say that? Like put some structure around what you want to do like if I can if I can if I can do this with my team right if I can do this with my team why can't you do it here's what you're going to need scheduled priority focus time you're going to need a target which is what is the daily standard and then you're going to need somebody to run with and when you don't hit it you need to you need to ask yourself what was the human moment that stopped me from hitting it what was the human moment that stopped me from hitting it and that human moment needs to be addressed, okay? And, and usually it, it's gonna, well, it's always gonna be something emotional. Something hit you emotional. Now here's where you're going. When you get that you matter, you could break your ankle and think, who can hit my priority focus time daily standard? Who can come in, help, hit it, Right? How can I get support? And then you'll start to develop your ecosystem of support around you. Something's coming. I don't know what's coming, but I can tell you life delivers a lot of excitement and a lot of blows, right? Am I right? Yes or no, right? When those blows come, I want you to have a, a, a million dollar perception, 
right? Or a $3 million perception, as my friend Dan Fleischman would say, because he won't touch an entrepreneur that's not doing 3 million. I want you to adopt a $3 million perception, which is when life gives you a blow, I want you to break it through. I want you to realize that, so if I broke my ankle, hopefully I don't, and I had nobody in my company, I would have to find a way, if I got that I mattered, and I had a $1,000 um, non-negotiable for every day, a standard of $1,000 in revenue every day. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Yes? You can go in the chat right now and you can put your standard. What's your standard? What's your daily standard? Put it out there. Put it in the chat. This becomes your non-negotiable. This is not a, a pipe dream. This is, this is the, not, my team didn't think 7,000 was possible. Okay, that was not in their ecosystem at all. They hit it day one, but then they didn't hit it day two and day three. And then the, the, a senior manager was not going to bed and she was not letting a second day go by without having us hit our daily standard. She hit the daily standard in 30 minutes, right? Which was $4,000, by the way. She generated $4,000 in 30 minutes, which changed the, changed the viewpoint of the team. It changed the standard. How, how many of you guys would love to change the standard of the people that you do life with? Like you'd want them to change the standard too. How many guys would like the standard all around you to rise? You lead this, you lead this. You could lead this with your children. You can lead this with your spouses. You can lead this with your girlfriends, boyfriends. You can lead this with your friends. You could lead this with people in your mastermind, but you need to be reliable enough that you're gonna show up Monday through Friday on priority focus time. You're gonna do a 10 minute check-in, declare what's gonna happen, and you're gonna only work on that. If you multitask, you will lose. You will lose. Okay, if you multitask, you will lose. The person that multitasked on day one uh, made $50 in two hours. The other one made 2,500. So we put them back on priority focus time and they hit their 7,000. They actually went to, I think it was like 8,000 or something like that on day one, right? But that was because she realized multitasking doesn't work. Even though some of you ladies, it's been a badge of honor for us, right? Time to let it go. It's ineffective. It also creates Alzheimer's in the brain. Okay, so if there's no other reason to not multitask, you want to do it for that reason. You don't, you don't want that half happening in your brain, okay? So I'm going to end on this, and you guys are more than welcome to, well, first of all, um, what I've learned is even the $7,000 minimum, when you don't hit your daily standard, people start to make the not hit number their new standard. You get what I'm saying? And so you have to recommit to the daily standard and you have to have the mindset that there must be a way. Okay, you have to have the mindset. It is impossible that you guys can't hit these daily standards for yourself. It's impossible because you know for sure somebody's hitting that, right? Are you guys clear? You know for sure somebody in the, on this planet is hitting your daily standard. Are you clear about that? So if somebody in this world is hitting your daily standard, that means there is a way. You live that. You own that. Okay, and you will come up with the way. All right, you guys, I know this was a little bit of a, a um, maybe not super like inspiring and you know what I mean, but it's the structure you need. And if you don't do it, you're gonna have you're gonna have a challenge. So I'm gonna challenge you to put that in your calendar. I'm gonna challenge you to put your daily your daily standard financial on the wall. I'm gonna tell you that there is a future coming down the pipeline for you, and there is not only a miracle. There's there's an opportunity. I'm looking at you in the camera right now, and I'm telling you, if you can feel that in your spirit, you should claim it. Right? There is an opportunity coming for you right now, and you have to keep you pick that daily standard for a reason. So have enough faith to make it through a month and see what happens, right? Like set, set your priority focus for the whole year, but have a standard for yourself that you're gonna do that for a month. Don't think you're gonna hit some and not hit other. Think that I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen is that you're gonna actually start seeing that this daily standard will be consistent. And just like when I popped my first $100,000 a month, I did it three months in a row and I did it manually. And by the third month, I was like, I wonder if I could do that reoccurring you'll have a moment like that, right? But it's not even about that that I'm talking about. I'm telling you there's a door opening. There's a door opening in your future and you have to be the leader to be able to walk into that door and into that meeting. You have to be the person that walks into that door and into that meeting and how you show up now determines that. 
Okay, so I'm going to peace out and end on that. I will not be here next week on Shanda On Demand. I will not be back until August. You guys p- playing the BAFcontest.com, BAFcontest.com. You will hear from me all next week. Um, I will probably be at the beach and uh, I have all of my marketing going out for Zone Event. It's going out, whether I'm in the office or out of the office, it's going out and I prepare for success. Prepare over the weekend, you guys playing BAF, okay? You'll hear from me next week. Everybody else, I will see you in next month, okay? Talk to you soon, VIP, I'm coming to you.